In this video, we'll learn to order positive and negative integers. Now, integers means whole numbers, that's all. So not decimals or fractions. In order to be able to order integers, we need to know what each of the digits represent in a number and how to read it. So we'll start with a very simple number, like 456. The way we've read it, means that we know this represents the hundreds, this represents the tens, and this represents the units. So if I add one more digit in front, this becomes 7456. We could put a comma here to help us read it, but it's not necessary. Also, if I add another digits in front of this, then we get 87,456. One more. One hundred and eighty-seven thousand four hundred and fifty-six. If I add another digit, look at how we've split them, 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma, and so on. And that pattern remains the same, so separating them into threes. So now I read this number as 8,187,000. Four hundred and fifty six. If I add another digit, thirty eight million one hundred and eighty seven thousand four hundred and fifty six. Four hundred and thirty eight million. 187,456 So 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma to help us read them So these were the millions, now we're looking at the billions So 1 billion 438,187,456 and if I add two more digits in front we've got 201,438,000,000 billion, billion, 187,456. Now, notice how I kept the zero there. Despite it having no value, it is there as a placeholder because if I didn't put it there, then I would end up with 21 billion, which is so different from 201 billion. So it's really important that we put the zeros as placeholders where and when needed. So you've noticed that the more digits a number has, the bigger its value. What if you have numbers with the same number of digits, like this one here? So this is 7,456 and this is 7,465. Looking at the first digit, that is 7, so we can't differentiate which one is bigger. Then we look at the next digit after it, that's 4 again, so we can't differentiate. Looking at the next digit now, we've got a 6 and a 5, so this one must be 
bigger. Why do we start this way? Because the digits here have a higher value. So the sevens mean seven thousands. The fours here mean four hundred. And these ones mean the tens. So this is 50 and this is 60. So 60 is higher in value than the 50. And for that reason, we're going to say this is the bigger number, despite the fact that we've got a 6 here and a 5. But that doesn't make a difference in this particular case. You'd make, if we had all the rest of the digits in front being the same, such as this one's here. So in this case, all of these are the same and that means this is the higher value or the number with the higher value. So if I said let's order So, looking at the three numbers, which one has more digits? Because we're going to order them from the highest to the lowest. And this has four digits as well as this one. So it has to be one of them too. But which one goes first? Looking at the first digit, that's four for both of them. Looking at the next digit, we've got 0 and 8. So this is higher. So I'm going to put first 4,820, then 4,028, then 805, because it has only three digits. So if we look at another example, we've got... So we've got three numbers. Looking at the digits, this one has one, two, three, four, five. This one has five. This one has five. So all of them have the same number of digits. So that means we're going to look at the first digit of each number first to compare them. So we've got an eight here, got a nine and an eight. So that means this one automatically, without even looking at the rest of the digits, will be the biggest of them all. Now, comparing these two, looking at the next digit or the second digit, we get this as being 8 and this is 0. So this means this one is the next biggest number. It's always worth paying attention to what the question is asking as well, because sometimes you can be asked to order them from the smallest to the largest. So what we've learned so far about ordering and comparing numbers would work whether we're talking about money, maybe measurements, anything that relates to the value of numbers. And these were only positive ones. Now we'll look at negative ones as well. So you've probably seen negative numbers in the context of temperatures or maybe bank accounts being overdraft. And it works exactly in the same way for both. I'll use a number line to help us with the context. So there is zero in the middle 
and numbers above that will be positive and numbers under that will be negative so in terms of temperature for example if the temperature is 10 degrees celsius then it's going to be much higher than if it was negative 10. so negative 10 is a smaller number a lower value a lower temperature same thing with a bank account if you have 10 pounds in your bank account then you are in a much better position than if you had negative 10 which would be overdraft so 10 is greater than negative 10 20 is greater than negative 20 negative 10 is greater than negative 20 so a negative 10 temperature be it degrees celsius or fahrenheit is going to be greater than negative 20 degrees celsius or fahrenheit and same thing here 30 negative 30 and so on so the zero here acts as a mirroring line and the numbers get larger and larger above and smaller and smaller underneath so if we have to put in order 345 negative 120 206 and negative 57 we're going to put them in order from the smallest to the largest so the smallest of them all is going to be the negative one but which one is it negative 120 or negative 57 think of it in terms of money which one would be a worse financial position if you were overdraft by 120 pounds or by just 57 and of course it's going to be negative 120 so that come first then it would come negative 57 and then we'd have 206 and finally 345 let's try another one so we've got to put in order 4058 4,508, negative 4,058, and negative 4,508. We're going to put them in order from the largest to the smallest. So, the largest of them all has got to be a positive number. So, which one is higher and greater when we compare these two? That is 4,508. Then 4,058. Then the smallest of them two is going to be the one with the higher digit so this is going to be the smallest so negative 4058 next and finally negative 4508 